Right, hi guys. Um, I was looking for a video on Dwarf Fortress on how to use floodgates and I couldn't actually find anything so I thought I'd make my own video on how to do it because it took me a little while to figure out. I went on some forums and read, I was reading on Steam on the discussion boards. But basically it's really simple to use. The only thing is when placing the mechanisms to control the levers that they can be a bit awkward. You have to take out a few more spaces than you'd actually think you have to do. So the only things you're going to need, you're going to need uh, workshops, you need a carpenter workshop which build out anything and you also need um, the mechanic workshop this is to make the mechanisms that connect the levers to the actual floodgate itself so we'll just wait for those to build we can build them straight away okay so first we make the actual floodgate which that's made out of wood here I'm also going to make a grate as well. Now the reason you use the grate, um, when you're building, um, when you're moving water into your base from another source, so say we had a wall round here, you'd be bringing water into the base from outside. Now monsters can also come in through that water as well and get into your base that way, so you build grates and that stops the, anything going through the water and actually sort of get into in through your defences. Now when you actually want to place the the floodgate you have to build a channel so like this channel we've got here but you can't just leave it as a channel the section where you actually place the 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 floodgate needs to be flattened so if you go on to um if you go onto here and you select the this bit to actually remove the part of the channel you've you've done then that is someone's going to come and level that now eventually So someone's going to come and level it, where's he gone? Have I lost a dwarf already? No, I've not lost him, he's he's around somewhere. Oh, he's there, he's building, so he's building the mechanisms. So once he's built, finished building the mechanisms, they'll come across here. Oh, okay, done. So now he's going to move that. So now we've removed that, we can go down. You select into here, machines and fluids. And you've got floodgate. Now we can place a floodgate here. Now, when you placed it, you need to be able to connect a lever. So we're going to place the lever on the top section here. But to actually access the lever, we need to remove two sections of wall uh, here and here. This is the first one here. We're going to place the. This is going to be the mechanism, and this is access to get there. Now, once we've done it, we're actually going to fill this in. Because if you don't fill it in, if we channel the wall from here to here, the wall will actually seep through, bypass the floodgate, so the floodgate won't work. So we'll just let him do that quickly. Okay, let's remove both of those. Now we'll go up. Now we want to place the actual lever. Um, levers are in, I think they're in machines of fluid. Yeah, they are. So we'll place that there. And build that out of anything, it doesn't matter. Okay, now that's built. Now to connect it, just click it, link lever, and we'll go down the floor. And floodgate, so that's connected. So now we've connected it, we can actually build this back up. So we'll build our constructions, we'll just build two walls here and here, and we'll make those out of whatever, wood and wood. Let those build those. Right, okay, that was a mistake. Um, it's one of those things that always happens in uh, RimWorld as well. You've got to build this one first, because otherwise you can't get access to that one. I'm going to wait for him to come back and do it. Not pause, I'm just waiting for him to come. Why are they not building that? I'll resume because it's blocked, that's why. Obviously it was going to happen when I'm making a video. Right, okay, and I'll build another quick one here. Just whatever shale. And I'm probably going to have to do a channel there again because I buggered that up. Right, okay. So now I've come to the surface. So well, the channel goes through to here. Now we can now control the floodgate. Floodgate's obviously shut. So we'll just build this to here. And we're going to channel this water in from there. Actually, before I do that, we'll place the grate because I forgot about that. Uh, we've, got, we've got the grate. So if we go... Actually, that's probably why I removed that. I did, did it subconsciously. So, let's remove that again. I can't remove that, it mustn't be there. 
Let me try and place the grey. I think grey is, is it machines and fluids? No, it's not. Where's grey? Grey's in construction, so let's do grey. I can't place that there. Okay, let's do it over here. I have to go up and cancel this. Otherwise, they'll beat me to it. So, you can remove this. Okay, go back again. Go constructions. Constructions, wall grey. Okay, we're going to place the grey. We'll put that down so now nothing can pass through here into, say, this was inside our base. That's there. And we'll complete that channel. Now the water's going to go to this point here. Again, when they come back. Right, see the water seeps seep through the corner first. So it's hit our basic flood gate. It's not passing beyond that point. So now if you wanted to flood, this was our moat. So our base was in here. Just click on your... Um, Cancel that. Click on your thing, pull the lever, close that. Some dwarfs gonna come along in a second. Open the, the gate, and in we go. And it starts filling up this um, moat that I've dug here. It's gonna take a while, because I dug that too deep anyway. And there we go. And then if you wanted to close the lever, same thing again, pull the lever. Some will come back, shut it, and you'll see the gate also come up to the surface now, and that's it. And then that won't fill. If you diverted that elsewhere, obviously this water level would lower, but I mean, I say there, you, there you'd have it, you'd have a moat and that would sort of defend your base, you'd have a drawbridge going across here if you wanted, if you'd, you know, you built around here, but anyway, I hope it helps some people, and I might do some more videos, because there's, there's quite a few things that are in this game that you can't seem to find any sort of decent tutorials with.